Hello everyone, welcome to another video in this series of Game of Active Directory Exploitation. In this video, we're going to go ahead and exploit a web application that allows us to upload files. And in that process, it's a Windows machine that's running this web application. So we're going to try to see if we can get detected. I already kind of ran through it and my web application was detected by our Elastic Sim. So how did, did this work? Well, just a quick recap. We have our client here, Tre Trevor Phillips Industries. They hired us, they want us to do a pen test. And this is our statement of work. One of the things that they want us to do is a comprehensive pen test scan on these IP addresses here. Last time we ran a scan of these IP addresses to see what services are running. And we ended that to our initial scan here. We noticed that, for example, on 192.168.56.22, we found that they have a port 80 open. That's the target that we're going to look for today. So when a machine has port 80 open, the logical thing for us to do is to go and visit that port. So we go ahead in our Kali Linux machine. When you go to 192.168.56.22, you see something like this. It says, follow this link to upload files. And when you see a file upload vulnerability, or at least when you see an application that is asking you to upload files, you probably want to check for any file upload vulnerabilities. Right away, a dead giveaway is there's an SPX up here. So what I will do is I will try to upload a web shell, in this case, ASPX. ASPX also indicate that this is a Windows client, just in case we forgot. So in, in our Kali, we do have an SPX file. So I'm going to copy one from, let's say, from this location here. User share web shells, ASPX, command root SPX. This is just a generic one. And we'll see if this will actually be detected. And as you saw last time, it actually does get detected. But how does that happen? Let's copy to here and name it maybe update um, dot ASPX. That way, you know, we name it something interesting, like it's an update for the website maybe. All right. Now that we did that, let's go back to our site. Browse. I also have it uh, in my temp folder here. But update to ASPX, open it, uh, upload the file. And once it's uploaded like that, we need to find out where are these uploads going. You can go to GoBus and do that, or you can just do a simple derb. But we can also guess something like, you know, there's a slash uploads file, file here. That's like the, the default one, but derb will tell us either way. But we can go to slash upload or uploads. Uh, in this case, update.xpx. Okay, ultimately, there we go, slash upload. So let's stop go bust. We know that there's a slash upload on the site. And there we go, slash upload, update.xpx. First, we do something silly like who am I, slash all, so we can see the privileges. And if we can run the commands, we get command execution on the Windows system. And in this case, we see that set impersonate is enabled. So even though we are in as IS pool default, we should be able to actually become system here using this set impersonate later when we do privilege escalation. Oh, by the way, remember this machine here is being watched by our Elastic Sim. So let's put the last uh, 30 minutes. After five minutes or so, this should tell us that something is going on here. So right now it's, it hasn't seen it. The alert actually has been ingested. It will actually show up here when the rule fire, which I think I put every five minutes or every three minutes. So we should refresh this after a little bit to check because that upload should be caught. Windows Defender is enabled on the host, but Defender doesn't care about that part because it's an SPX file, it's in the correct location in the folder, but the behavior should get caught by our intrusion detection system. Okay, this is not enough though. We want a shell on the actual machine here. We want a reverse shell, so to say. Um, we can try to get a metaprater reverse shell, but I'm pretty sure that one will be caught. We open our browser, reverse shells generator online. We give it the IP address of our Kali Linux machine and a port number. In this case, I'm going to 4443. And we say, hey, we want to use Windows. And in this Windows, uh, let's use PowerShell, in Base64 encoded PowerShell. We know that this might actually execute. So here's Base64 encoded PowerShell. Let's use Naked to set a listener. 
So here's our listener on that port. All we need to do is execute this PowerShell on that web shell. So instead of who am I, we can just say paste that PowerShell. If we execute here, it will execute PowerShell as is child process of the SPX upload. So this should also be suspicious behavior. All right, so it's ex executing and we get a connect. So we <laughs> got a reverse shell here. Hit enter several times, we're there. And who am I such all showed us that, you know, we have set impersonate privilege here. And we are actually as IS, IS default pool. So next here, we need to escalate our privileges. And I will do that in the next video because I want us to, I want us to walk through the, the set impersonate privilege because this one, you actually see it more. So in our second video after this one, we're going to escalate our privileges here. And maybe we can bring, we can bring something like Bloodhound to tell us more information about this system or maybe we can find some tokens but for now i just wanted to show you how we can break into a system using a web application a system that is intrusion detection system okay so first right so it's so the who am i okay so what about that, that web shell that we uploaded well notice that here we have a web script detection so we do have detection here let's look at the things that fired okay so web shell detection script child process of common web uh, process okay so it's so that we have a web process, but that web process also executed the command line. Uh, in this case, this is our PowerShell. Notice that it says PowerShell here. Okay, so that's one of the things. Let's look at the different one. All right, here's another one. When we ran uh, who am I from the command line, and we do have a rule here. Let's check the rule. All right, what is this rule doing? So it is a custom query. So we started using wp.exe, httpd, or one of these. So these are the common web application services that Windows knows about, or at least this rule has added. And if any of those executes a command prompt or C script, Power PowerShell, or this variation of PowerShell here, or ISE, WMI exec, WP script. So all these here are used to execute commands on the system. And they're saying, hey, if you see a combination of a web application service or binary, running any of these that are known for running commands we want you to alert so this was a simple alert yet it was able to catch our web shell so that's what we had for this one in our next video we'll escalate our privileges from here and then hopefully we'll bring in bloodhound and hopefully we don't get caught otherwise thanks for being here and i hope to see you next time